Well, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Lovely to have your company again. Welcome, it's Ruth here at Artful Stampin'. Okay, so happy Monday, everybody. So Mondays of the day, I try and do something a little bit more masculine, you know, for those people in your life that need a slightly less pink or frilly or flowery or butterfly card, which is what I tend to do. Not so much the pink, but, you know, frilly, flowery. I love it all. So, hi, everybody. Yeah. Oh, hi, Anna. Yes, thank you for those photographs you sent me. I'm sorry I forgot to respond. She's been busy making rosehip oil and also all sorts of lovely goodies. Uh, hi, Anna. Mary. Uh, Tina. Me uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's see who else here. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Jan. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Sheila. And Mary. And... Uh, all of you who are having lots of rain and storms, please be very careful, take care of yourselves, and uh, yeah, stay safe. Right, so I have the stamp set, Pretty Birds, Pretty Birds, but I was hoping to do a technique which I have demonstrated before, it's not really anything new in terms of you guys who've been following me a little while yes it is slightly colder here today so i am wearing a jumper with a cardigan underneath and a t-shirt oh and i dug out my slippers my my nice warm sort of faux lined fur lined boot slipper things that i wear in the winter because it is getting cooler here i'm still hoping for a nice warm october though <laughs> before i put the heating on I am not putting heating on. I'm not putting the heating on. I'm not. I'm just going to keep saying it. I'm not putting heating on. So there we go. Right. Let's transition down to my desk. Where am I? There I am. Blank piece of paper in front of me at the moment. So this is a sheet of basic white cardstock. I haven't chosen the, the colours yet. Here's the stamp set. If any of you have got this one. You can play along. I've not used it before, to be honest. First time going to be using it. So the idea was that I was actually going to turn my paper this way and stamp a bird or so, which is the right side. That's got a few marks on it. Let's go this side. Uh, some birds as a kind of focal point, I was thinking. Maybe have the bird cage in the background, I don't know. And then add loads of foliage. That was my plan, you know zhuzh it up with foliage so i might just have a little let's get, I'll grab a scrap look, look these are the scraps of paper that i cut yesterday that i didn't use what about we just have a little play with these first just to get to know my new stamp set brand new out the packet never been sniffed before let's have a quick sniff oh the new stamp set sniff i know i'm weird all right so Hmm. what do we have here then so we've got ah we've got oh oh three-step stamping i do believe okay all right so hmm. they've not put any diagrams or numbers and stuff on these so Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh dear. Right, we're just going to have to wing this one. Let's get some colours out. I forgot what blue tits look like though. That's the only thing. Buttery guards. Let's have a look. Let's look it up. Oh, do I dare type that in? Oh no, they're not blue tits. Yeah, they are blue tits. No, they're not blue tits. Are they called blue tits? Am I thinking something else? Budgies. That's what I'm thinking. Bud, budgery gars. I don't even know how to spell it. Oh, I got it right. <laughs> you know when you go to spend, spell something and you're like, I have got no idea. I'm just going to do it phonetically and hope for the best. It worked. Okay, so they have like a green body. Perfect. Hence the name, Parakeet Party. Good name for... A bird colour. And then a lovely bright blue, which I guess we could go with Tahitian. Yes. And then where's black? I have got black on my desk, so that would be great. Okay, let's try this then, people. You're in it with me. Have I got all your support? 
um, let's pop that to the side so I can see what I'm looking at and I can then still see your comments. Oh, oh Vicky's starting to strip off, oh Vicky, I say, it's not that kind of video. Look at the picture in the catalogue, oh, thanks Sheila. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should have done that. But hey, you know, I, li I like to live dangerously. You know, I never know what we might end up with here. Right. So, hmm. Right, so that one goes in that one. That one goes in that one. And then that's the head. Oh. Oh, got it now. Got it, got it, got it. I think. All right, let's try this then. So. So, try a bit of that. And try a bit of that. Okay. Um, so that one's got. Okay, we'll go for a bit of a green, green body on that one. You know what, I've got an awful feeling that these ones that I'm doing as my test pieces will be the best ones of the night. <laughs> Does that ever happen? Go, I'm just going to try it out and then that's your best one. And then from then on, that's it. Failure. <laughs> oh no, come on Ruth, be more optimistic. Right, let's, oh, I'm going to have to come right close to me to get my head over the top of this. Oh. Oh, okay, well done. Oh, right, so the eye and the neck, beak need to kind of meet up. Oh, that's hard. Oh, my goodness, that is hard. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, mm, let's try that again. What if I do blue first, then parakeet? Oh no, I hope it's not going to be one of those stamp sets that I'm going to go, no, why did I buy it? It's too complicated. Or have I just done it on the wrong one? Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think I've done it on the wrong one. All right, okay, I'm just going to stab a few then. Yeah, I think I've done the wrong one. Is it meant to be that one? No, that's going the wrong direction. Oh well, let's try let's try this now. Oh no, it's not that one. Right. Out comes the catalogue. I give up. Pretty birdies. Birds. 103. Oh, how's that any help? Oh. Oh, well done, Anna. Well done. I, I don't think that's of any help whatsoever, Sheila. Thank you very much. Okay, let's just keep going. So I'm wondering whether it's better for me to stamp the outers first. To stamp the birds first. Let's do that. Let's try that instead. Right, okay. Next time, don't listen to Sheila. <laughs> Oh, Anna, you need a friend like I had who he um, fiddled with the router settings. And so I've switched a router 
into my craft space and then run a wire from my ha house router out into my garden. So I have a second router out here, but it's fed off the one in the house. I'm sure you'll know someone techie who could do that for you. Oh, that's a bit easier. Oh, that's definitely easier. Oh, oh, round of applause, please. Oh, my word. OK, so now does that go on there? No, it doesn't. Right, where does this one go? Let's try it. Try that one. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Right, I'm missing something. What am I missing? Or maybe I'm not missing something. Right, hold on. Right, so that was that one. No, it wasn't. That was that one. That was that one. Oh, this one. I was doing it wrong. This one is this one. Oh, okay. Right. I've done them. So this one is I've still got to bring this close to make it not really able to see it properly. Oh cute. Okay. Go for the feathers. Shake your tail feathers. Ah, okay. Right, so, am I missing a little inner piece for that one? No, I've done that one. No, that one, so that one's that one. And that one. That one is that one. And that one. And that is just a singular one on its own. There we go. We got there eventually. Thank you, Fred. Thank you. I could hear you cheering. Thank you. Right. There we go. Let's bring you a bit closer so you can actually see that I've done it. Ta-da! Oh, right. Sense of accomplishment there. Right. So then there's this one. This should be easier, she says. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's see if this is any easier. My parents used to have budgery gars. I'm sure my father has got some funny stories to tell me about budgies. So I need to send him a budgie card at some point. Give him an excuse to tell me about the budgies. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Esther, Helen, did we have budgies when we were little? Oh, no, I know what she's talking about. Oh. We had, when we both, we, we were little, we both lived in Nigeria. And we had some visitors come out to us. And he used to tell us, this gentleman used to tell us this story. Was it about the budgies? Is that right, Helen? Is that what you're referring to? There we go. Oh, okay. Oh, right. I'm exhausted now. <laughs> oh, I'm too tired to stop. Ah. Oh. My aunt had a blue one called Pretty Boy. He would give you a kiss. Oh, he's a pretty boy then. Where does that come from even? He's a pretty boy then. Now, 
I do like the design of this bird cage. I'm actually quite looking forward to using it in other designs. Just have it in the background there. So pretty. Oh, your dad had 300. He was a champion breeder and would show them all over. Oh, wow. That's fascinating, Shaz. Oh, well, I don't need to do one on there. Right, let's get busy on the actual paper that I'm going to use. So... Oh, look, I've got ink on it already. How did I get ink on it already? Ruth, honestly. Right, okay, I'm going to have to take these budgies off here. Let's see if I can... I'm happy to have really just one as a focal point. I'm not too bothered about having... Or should I do random patterns? What do you think? So I was going to just have one as a focal point, but I'm wondering whether just to do a one sheet wonder. You know what, I think I'll start with a one sheet wonder and then yeah, I'll see what happens. Oh my word, look at, look at the state of me. My grandfather bed, bred budgerigals and canaries. Oh, and Anna used to keep a pet rat. There we go. I'm going to hide that boo boo. It got ill and I had to clean its bottom with a. <clears throat> Fair enough, Janice. Whoa, 100 white rice. Nice. Hello, Miss Barb. You're going to wonder what you've come into. Reading the comment section. Oh, Jan, I say. I'm just enjoying filling the space here. All right, that was quite fun. Let's do a little bit more with this one. Didn't ink it properly. Oops. And maybe this one. Oh, I don't know. I'm sure someone will Google it. Tina, I don't know what the lifespan is. I did have a friend uh, who was from America who lived over here and his budgie would uh, whistle or tweet or whatever you want to call it, Dixie. Yeah. It would do that. And then sometimes it would get stuck like, and that's all it would do. Um, or it would go... <laughs> Oh, 
And then to keep it quiet, they used to pop a thing over the top of it. Uh, cloth or whatever. Right, that was fun. I'm going to stop there. Because now is the tricky bit. I'm trying to make find all the bits to go inside. Oh, what am I doing? I've got two of these. Oh, weird. Right, uh, what colour are you using, Ruth? Uh, this is just white card with black ink so far, but I thought I would use Tahitian Tide. It's a rather lovely blue. Oh, slightly missed that one, but never mind. Let me move. I need to move it on further than I think I do. Mm -hmm. Right, is that all those ones? Yes, it is. Okay, let's set that aside a second. Uh, this one is for this. Oh no, is it? Yeah, that's that's a lime one. And that's for lime as well. Right, let's do the heads. You had a pair of budgies and a pair of zebra finches and the budgie imitated the zebra's chirp and hop. Oh, that's funny. Were they in the same cage, Bob? Could you keep them in the same cage or were they not happy together? I don't know why I bothered with that one. These are, once you've done the black, these are surprisingly easy to line up. And I think my tip would be make sure you use a block that's slightly gives you some space to see where it is you're stamping. Because I think if I used anything smaller or, yeah, so make sure you've got a bit of a margin going around the stamp. So you can see what you're doing. Oh, Helen, when are you getting your stamping stuff back? Is it quite soon? Right, all right, so that's that bit. No, separate cages, but right next to each other. Ah, okay, yep. So they're happy to be neighbours, but not family. Well, I have to say, this is quite delightful. I, I like easy colouring like this. Obviously, it's just it takes a bit longer than just stamping once, but I think the effort is worth it. I mean, the results are quite fun, and I know I'm stamping a whole sheet here, but you don't have to do that. You know, just one little motif. It's probably quite enough for a card, really. But you know me, more is more. Right. Some brown twiggies. Or you could colour that in actually by hand. That's the other thing you could do. And I think I may just colour. Oh, now what colour, I wonder, is that little bit above the beak? I'm going to have to refer to my picture in a second. Oh, 
Oh no, come on, down. All right, let's get a little pen. Uh, oh, what is the colour of the... Oh, it's like a bluey colour. But what is it on the... Oh, I think I've done the colours wrong. Oh, I've done the colour wrong. Ah... Uh, it's meant to be, but it's a blue body, white top, or green body and yellow. Oh, Ruthie failed at the first hurdle. Oh, never mind. Oh, artistic license and what do we go with that? Okay, let's just colour in the feet, little claws. Uh, I'm doing this with the bullet tip, but it may have been easier to do it with the brush tip. Oh, I fluffed that one up completely. Right, I'm wondering what about a nice bit of gold and yellow bit of daffodil delight for these I'm just going to do the trim I'm not going to colour in the whole thing just colour in the trim of the bird cage so I wonder I know we keep birds in bird cages you know partly to contain the poop but um, do you think like some dogs like having an enclosed space to be in? If birds actually feel more protected if they're in a cage, you know, within a, a domestic setting, that is. I mean, I, I once cleaned for a lady who had on the side of her house, outside her kitchen window, had a massive aviary. Well, I say massive. It was just like a big room, really. Uh, that she kept lots of birds in. And um, I thought, oh, excuse me, sorry, I'm yawning. I did think that was quite delightful. To be able to keep your birds in such a manner. I'm just going to put a bit of yellow on the top of these. I know it's not quite the right yellow, but I just wanted to see what it looked like. Oh yeah, that's a bit better. Because there's not a second stamp for that bit. You, you just have to add it afterwards. It's very easy. Just look a little bit of ink there. And actually, if you slightly missed the tops, the yellow actually takes better. Oh, that's there. Okay, now we want to get a little bit of greenery into here because we don't have any with this bird set. We don't even have any sentiments, it's a completely kind of sentiment free stamp set. So, miss the bottom middle cage, thank you, Anna. Actually, what colour did I use here? So saffron. There we go. I used so saffron for those. Oh no, I didn't. I used daff daffodil delight on the others. I can see the difference now. Oh well. Right, so the others I used daffodil delight and then so saffron for the heads. Right, so I wanted to bring in a bit of greenery from here. I like the idea of maybe some flowers hanging. 
but I think I want to do it very subtle. So I'm going to choose, maybe stamp off and do it. Although I'm kind of running a bit of a risk doing that if I do that because the colour might be too soft. So what about if I use soft speed bone and just do some very pale, pale foliage in the background. Oh, I can tell I recently we inked this. Why has it got pink on it? Okay, it's not the ink. I think I may have accidentally um, got ink on the... The, the, sta the stamp is stained, that's what it is. That's what I can see. Okay, so I'm aiming, because I've got bits that hang down that the flowers are going to hang by. I'm, I'm deliberately... Oh, look, I can aim that underneath. <gasps> Look, it looks like the budgie sitting on it now. <laughs> oh, I like it when that happens. Um, let's do one. Maybe there. Hmm. Might just pop some leaves down here. Right down here, we could have some fl some flowers hanging, perhaps. Could have some leaves coming on like that. Oh, got ink on my block. Right. Let's get rid of that big blue. Hmm. Now what with this one I'm going to remove the stems. There we go. Oh, that was good. Again, I'm going to remove the stem. Have that come down there. Sorry, I'm looking looking at any comments. Hi everyone. Hi Bev. Hi Janine. Hi Sherry. Lovely to see you all. Hi Marilyn. Ah, oh, great to see you all. Sorry if I missed anybody. I've just had my head down, just concentrating on trying to get this right. So on there. All right, let, let's try that and see what happens. Now, I'm wondering if we get out the fresh freezer. I'm hoping that's going to be a pale enough colour. I think it would be. Mount that on here. Oh, people in the UK. Do we have an equivalent product apart from White Spirit, which I guess is the cheapest thing I could use? I should use that really. To goo gone. I just I've just seen a post from an American demo saying, Oh, I just cleaned my blocks using goo gone. But I'm just thinking I tend to just use white spirit on th things that are a bit sticky and icky. Because some of my blocks need a really good clean. Alright, now that one is gonna have a flower right dangling right in the middle of his head and I don't want that so I'm not I'm just gonna wait a second and not stump that so if I was stamping this again you know how hindsight's a marvellous thing <coughs> excuse me um I would perhaps stamp the wisteria first 
and then stump the birds onto the wisteria branches. Hand sanitizer. Oh yes, of course, it's got alcohol in it. Yes, good idea. There we go. We've all got a few bits of hand sanitizer hanging about, haven't we? A few, a few gallons of it somewhere. Right, there we go. I like that. We do. Now, I'm going to stamp this. And I'm going to get that one out. For reasons I will yet reveal. So I think a little bit of Highland Heather over the top. Oh, other people in the UK. Have you started watching the new series of Ghosts? It came out, it came out last week. I watched two episodes already. No spoilers on here though, just tell me if you've watched them already. Just ordered that stamp. Oh, which one, Sherry? The the wisteria or the the birds? Okay, I'm looking at this now, thinking I could do with a little bit more lilac. You know, just just maybe on the edges and the fringes of things. So, you no, know, just gonna. Up some there. Now I know they're not, they don't look like they're attached to anything, but this is where the other leaf stump is going to come in handy. Oh, wrong colour. There we go. So now, move one of them and pop my little singular leaf. Well, it's not a singular leaf, sorry, it's a singular branch. And I'm going to just add. Haha! <laughs> oh, I'm glad someone on here watches it, Anna. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Right, you'll have to let me, after you've watched the first episode, let me know what you think. Right, so the other use for this singular stamp is a little bugbear of mine is I don't like it when I have stems floating on my design. I like them to end nicely. So I'm going to, I know it doesn't make any sense that a stem would start with a leaf and end with a leaf, but design wise it does. So I'm going to add we stems or stems of leaves to the ends and then here where I've got the flowers sort of stand, starting in midair I'm just going to add some leaves there. Okay have I got another one? Oh, I've got that one that's doing a funny... Hmm. No, I'm all right. It'll be all right. Okay, and then I can always do some other. I'd add some extra bits as well if I want to. I'll do some second and third generation. Oh, there's one. There we go. So that it doesn't all look like the same branch, if that makes sense, by adding some extra bits to it. Because that's the that's the kind of. The, the fabulous thing and the downside to stamping is that you have the same design that can be repeated over and over and over again. But sometimes you don't want that design to look like it's the same design. So this is where it's great to have little 
stamps like this that you can kind of add and do extra things with. So, oh yeah, there we go. I've disguised that stem hanging down there with that. Now, see, he looks like he's standing on in midair. So let's give him a a little stem to stand on. You too. You look like you're floating. Doing all right. Okay. So oh, I think we're missing something. What are we missing? Maybe it's just a little bit of dotage or something. I have got the little bee stamp, but I think the bees are going to be too big. I want something just sort of just floating around. Dotage says so you're going to need dotage. <laughs> go with a little bit of oh a little bit of ranuncular script I could do half and half I could do half and half see what you think and then maybe put it all across it <laughs> now I'm thinking in a nice grey pale grey for the script Smoky slate. Oh, what have I done? Bird in the middle is floating too. Yes, and it hasn't got a coloured in claw. Poor thing. Poor thing. Poor thing. Name that tune. Actually, if someone can name, so from the same musical, I think, if, if I've got my musicals correct, there is a song that features, features a bird in the same musical. Let's just test your musical knowledge, won't it? You've got a flow. Thanks, Tina. <laughs> I'm not saying that out loud. <laughs> Splattage. Yes, definitely with budgies. Oh my days, yes. But we, we've got refined budgies, refined French budgies here. And they're refined gilded cages that write scripts. <laughs> These budgies write letters to each other, <laughs> apparently. Right, I know that's a little bit pale, but it is quite pretty having that in the background. I think I'm going to do it across the whole thing because it's so nice. So French. C'est magnifique. Très belle. He's comfy now, yes. <laughs> yeah. Right. I think we go for a little bit darker grey now. I also want to colour in the beaks. Let me just check check beak colours. Oh yes, sort of orangey yellowy colour. I'm not gonna go with orange. Let's go with a daffodil delight, I think. Just look a bit naked. <laughs> now, do you think the door, that door there, should be coloured in? No, they haven't coloured it in. Oh well.
It's the ones that are kind of showing. Because some of them have got a bit of wisteria on them, so it doesn't matter so much. Peter and the Wolf has a bird. Mm, yes, it does, but that's not the... F Do you want me to sing the line again? Wolf thing, wolf thing. I know it's only two words, but those of you who know the musical will know it. The, does the bird bottom right need his feet coloured in? He does. Well spotted. Shall I, shall I um, hum the tune or whistle the tune that features the bird? If I can get the right pitch. I think I got the tune right there. <laughs> bit tricky. I mean, the person who writes these musicals is uh, a pretty, pretty talented person. It's such a beautiful song and sung with such, it has to be sung with such a delicate voice. I really couldn't do it justice. I don't have a delicate voice at all. Nope, not Mary Poppins. So this this right is a bit of a darker, darker sing um, composer and lyricist. Yes, Mary Poppins, yes, they do. It's to the, um, oh, um, <laughs> which song is it? Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. The medicine go down. And then they take the mick out of it, don't they, in Shrek? <laughs> If someone will remember that scene in Shrek where the bird blows up. Too funny. Oh, thanks, Chris. As uh, someone who's celebrating their wedding anniversary, I think a card from this would be super special. Really, Monica? Happy anniversary, my darling. How many years is it? Come on Spill the beans. How did you meet? Now, having said that, talking about birthdays, um, Trish Cox, if you're watching, has got a birthday coming up. I think we need a bit more dotage, actually. Oh, seriously, Ruth. I just, I just, I just used it. Where do I put it? Oh, this has happened to me, to me earlier tonight, where I. I was looking for something and I, I literally had it in my hand and then I, tr I put it down. Oh, there it is. Oh, you met at a disco. Oh, love it. Oh. Oh, now what was this? What music was playing, Monica? Let's see if you can remember that. Oh, I think my masculine Mondays turned into not so much, but I don't know. I think it still could be used for a guy card. I mean, it's lilac and purple. I'll be all right. It could be used for an anniversary card. <laughs> oh, congratulations, Sherry. 
You celebrated your 49th. <gasps> Mary's 43. Awesome. Thank you, Elizabeth. Bob? Bob, that emoji you've just shared looks very like John Travolta. Oh, Jan met Fred at a bar. And Anna met his, hers on Facebook. Well, there you have it. All coming out tonight, guys. All the pets you've had, how you've met your partners. Love it. <laughs> Right, I think I'm going to leave it there. I, I know you probably want to see me cut this up and use it, but I'm not going to do that tonight. So, right, let's go through the stamp sets because the other day I, I used a rock of stamp sets and I forgot to tell you what I did. Oh, and I will also give you a little sneak preview or something that I hope to do this week. So, Wisteria Wishes. So, we used quite, oh, no, I didn't use those, but use those. Actually, we used all those. Oh, I didn't end up using that. I dug it out because I thought I was going to have my bird sitting on a tree branch. But there we go. So if you do have garden bird houses, you may be able to use it to pop some birds on. It's a good alternative, isn't it? I might do that. I might do that still. The thing is, I've only just got this stamp set and it's it's with us, you know, for many months yet. So, so I, I will be using it more. So pretty birds love it now i've figured out how to put two and two together or two and three and four together uh, it's quite a quite a nifty little set but now i've done it i would say stamp your outline first it is so much easier nice for coloring in too and no i didn't buy the dies if anyone was asking, thinking of asking me that quiet meadow i just use the dotage that's all I like you for. No, I'm joking. No, I love you all, really. Um, no, Dottage is the most used one out of that one. Ranunculus Romance. I just used the script. <sighs> Could use the French before that. That would be nice. Actually, even that as well. Might masculine it up a little bit more. So there we go. Now you have Disco Music. Right, nobody got the... Um, the reference the musical reference yet right i'll go through the colors give you a few more a few more minutes hi gina thank you so much lots of love to you my darling Mwah. fresh freesia oh no let's start with the ones let's start at the beginning let's start at the beginning right so used memento black that's my lid gone not memento black tuxedo black Tuxedo black ink for the outlines. Then use Parakeet Party and Tahitian Tide. Then, oh, let's put these aside a second. Then soft sea foam for the background leaves because we don't, I didn't want the leaves to be the focal point. For me, the birds and the bird cages are the focal point. So, no. Green finch and lily bird. That's my next clue. So fresh freesia for the flowers and then Highland Heather over the top just to give it a little bit of oomph, that little bit of depth there uh, to, to the wisteria. And I find that actually just sometimes just stamping it once, it, it so let, let me show you. See, that's stamped once and I think I prefer it when I stamp it and then move it slightly and stamp again. So, not Tit Willow from the car, don't know. Hi, Ivy. Nope. Um, it also features the song. Um, um, Pretty Woman. <sighs> that's, the, that's the only clue I'm going to give you because I can't remember the rest of the words. So, Fresh Freesia. Soft Suede I used for. The branch, and also I use the soft suede pen to do the claws. I also use Daffodil Delight and So Saffron for the birds and the bird cage. And just now I've just touched up the, the tops of the beaks 
with coastal banner but you can do that whatever color you want that's you know by the by so then some script in the background was done in smoky slate and the dotage was done in basic gray all right so fred performed the mikado in school awesome i would like to see photos please jan jan come on jan i'm sure you have photos <laughs> um um what other songs in that it, this the music is actually really complicated to sing and so whenever i hear people sing music from this musical i just i'm in awe because uh, and there's some of there's often duets as well and yeah <sighs> yeah very complicated songs uh no photos <laughs> oh what a shame fred fred we might just have to have a reenactment <laughs> okay so the song i've forgotten what the original line was that i sang earlier now but the song green green finch and lilit bird is from the musical sweeney todd and the demon barber the demon barber of fleet street do google it or youtube it it's a beautiful song he did it before you were born um oh fair enough fair enough jan yeah right my lovelies just a very quick sneak peek then so when uh this weekend uh, we held, had our C.S. Lewis event uh, in Welshpool and so I pre-programmed, I pre, whatever the word it is, designed, designed some A4 sheets to print out four quotes. So I've got eight new quotes basically and so I printed those out on basic white cardstock and then took various stamps with the I took grassy grove I took nature's beauty that's retired so the next few stamps I'm going to mention are retired nature's beauty snow front I think those were the main ones actually um did I oh and gorgeous grunge so the dotage is gorgeous grunge and did I take no, I didn't. So if you've got something like Mountain Air, that would work as well. All right. Now, uh, um, what's the word I want? Uh, contraband alert. This die I purchased online. Thank you, Navarana. Navarana, if you're watching, she suggested this company to me. It's a, I was going to say Norwegian, but it's not. It's a European might be Swedish or something and as soon as I saw it I was like oh I need that lantern die to be able to do something to do a craft with so I purchased it then now for those of you who don't know C.S. Lewis wrote The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe and so the idea was to kind of give the impression of you know lantern waste so there you go um, so these were these were ones done not by me. These were done by other people. I I maybe my children or my friends that were out there. Um, the little deer, aren't they gorgeous? That that's from Snowfront. So there we go. Now this die, this stamp here as well is not stamping up. Um, I believe it might be that company that starts with a H. Yes, it is. Starts with a H. It's a two-word, <laughs> two-word um, name, and one the first word starts with H, and the second word starts with A. And they brought this out. It's called name of it. Oh, stuff it! I'm just going to show it to you. Um, 
there we go that's that's the stamp set and so you've got a three-step stamp lion yeah. but of course I used stamping up inks you know yeah yeah Oh, in mere Christian, what the the lamp post is mentioned in mere Christianity. Oh, the song is from the film Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet, Fleet Street. Thank you. Yeah, so this actually that this hasn't been stamped that well, this one, but when it is stamped, it's absolutely stunning. You want me to show you? It's Blooming gorgeous. Scrap the paper, show you. Yeah, so we had a fabulous Narnia themed event. Well, I'm C.S. Lewis, of course. And we served hot chocolate. And Turkish delight. And oh, we had marmalade cake. So for those of you who are very familiar with the story of the Lion of the Wardrobe, this will be a a quiz for you. Who serves marmalade cake? yeah exactly Anna absolutely they can't sell everything it would be nice though if they did come out with something like this because I certainly would buy it but it, this is so beautiful and for me I, I did a lot of research into different lion stamps and this was to me Aslan it, it, it has to have a regality to me about about the face for it for me to use it so i searched for a very long time before i bought this right so i've just got to do a bit of hovering there we go and then this last one uh, yes, there had to be Turkish tonight. We also did toast and honey. Oh, a bit of Cajun clothes. Right, this is a tricky bit. I've got to stand up for this. And I'm not going to get this perfect because the, the, my lights are so strong. But anyway, that's that's kind of... Yeah, I, I missed it. I'll try again. We'll do the reverse. Sometimes it's easier to do a reverse than it is to do... There we go, that's better. That's better. There we go. It's nice stunning. Yes, marmalade roll was served by the beavers. Yes. Yes, well done, Anna. Yeah, Mrs. Beaver makes it. And I think it was sardine and honey sandwiches at Mr. Thomas's house. Yeah. So if you're a member of the Facebook group, uh, C.S. Lewis and... I think it's called C.S. Lewis and the Inklings. I'm a member of that group. Um, 
and the Inkling, C.S. Lewis and the Inkling Society. Uh, I've just done a post on there with a few more pictures. So, right. Well, thank you all so much for joining me. Um, I I don't often do this, but just a quick reminder: if you would like to purchase any of the not not these products because I can't sell you those, uh, the in, the Stampin' Up products that I demonstrated earlier with the bird cage then please do head to my shop basically links to the shop are in the description below and if you would like a paper copy of the catalogue i'm quite happy to send you one so please just email me ruthtrice at gmail.com and i'd be very happy to do that send that out to you and if you need any advice with you know maybe you're a beginner stamper and you just don't know where to start then please do contact me about that i'm quite happy to have a chat a chat with you either on the phone or i can uh, facetime you or whatever and uh, have a chat that way still loving your lavinia oh yeah she does do some beautiful stamps she keeps coming out with more and more new ones as well yeah yeah oh discworld stamps oh that's interesting Ah, okay. I didn't. I didn't know that. Um, I didn't know they'd done the some. I'll look out for those. Yes, I'm always on the lookout for anything kind of Narnia related. Which stamp? The lion one. I do not remember Sherry. I just looked it up on the internet. I just searched and searched and searched for lion stamps, and found that one. And. I I seem to remember it wasn't cheap <laughs> but I just wanted it so bad and knew it would work so well so I, I made the investment so yeah okay I'm gonna love you and leave you you are so welcome Bev thank you for joining me and happy anniversary to all you love birds out there very fitting seeing as I've done birds today I think very fitting so oh, oh, I, I can imagine Anna <laughs> lots of love to you all and uh, if you've not subscribed before please do hit that subscribe button it's so much easier to find me again if you've hit that button and if you want to also click on the bell it also means you get notifications and if you're not somebody that lives by your tablet with your notifications pinging all the time, but you do use WhatsApp on your mobile phone and you'd like a notification, then please email me ruthtrice at gmail.com and send me your mobile phone number or your cell phone number, whatever you want to call it, and I will add you to my broadcast list. So the broadcast list is something that is completely private to me. It's conf I keep it confidential. No one else will get your phone number. It will just go into my phone and get added to the broadcast list. And if ever you want to be removed, you just let me know. Please remove me. And if you do reply, actually, to the messages I send out, nobody in the group gets them. Just me. Okay. So that's a way to know when I'm going live because I do not have a schedule. I cannot stick to a schedule. I have lots of other stuff going on in my life, so I can't do that. So... Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me, everybody. Really nice to see you after a busy weekend. And thanks for those of you who joined last last night as well uh, for my quick uh, get in there with my Christmas stampathon. So lots of love. I'm just going to leave you with a picture of the the budgies. There we go, and a reminder to subscribe. Lots of love, everyone. Bye.